friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley. Today we are getting ready for Holy Girl Summer. This coffee is so good. In this video, I'm going to take you through my Holy Girl Summer routine, not Hot Girl Summer if you heard me correctly, where I take you through reading the Bible, journaling and prayer, reflecting, as well as healthy habits and fitness that I'm focusing on this summer. I'm also going to hang out with good Christian community tonight because we know we cannot grow closer to the Lord and become the best version of ourselves on our own. A lot of the habits that I'm going to be doing in this video are from the Holy 40 Challenge, which you can learn more about in the description below. But first, let's read our Bibles. Every morning, I like to start out with my coffee and Bible reading. It's become a habit that I cannot go a day without. I'll typically take 15 minutes or so, flip to a book of the Bible, and read. I also read a proverb a day, so whatever date of the month it is, I'm flipping to that chapter and reading it. I'm also going through the book of Ephesians right now. I like to underline and highlight what stands out to me and make little notes of what is jumping off the page in the margins because it helps me stay engaged with what I'm reading. So kind of like annotating in school, I'll just do that with my Bible. You don't have to be in your Bible every day for an hour for it to be effective. Even 15 minutes every single day can make a huge difference in helping you grow closer to God and reaching your full potential in Him. Then I take time to pray and talk to God. I typically follow the Acts prayer model, which is modeled after the Lord's Prayer, but it's really just a daily meeting time I have with my Father. Now is the time that I look at my notion for the day. I just got back to the States from my trip to Europe, and while my trip was amazing, there definitely is a barrier to entry. I have not worked out in two weeks. I, when my dog bites his bone as we record, it's fine. Toby, I had so many croissants and so many carbs, not the healthy kind, the unhealthy kind on my trip. And I still feel them in my tummy, I think. So I need to get back to eating healthy. I need to get back to my workout routine. I also need to get back to work and really hitting my work goals, leading my team well. So every single morning in my notion, I'll write my top three things I wanna get done for the day. I will write some to-dos under my to-do list where it's like if those top three things, I call them my most valuable priorities, if they are done, then I'll go into the to-do list or maybe when I'm like needing a break from the big heavy things for the day, I'll go take a lighter thing from the to-do list. I'll also figure out any meetings that I have, social activities that I have. So today I'm meeting with my dad for lunch. I'm also doing a Pinterest live later, which where are my Pinterest girlies? Comment below. I also like to to write down any workouts that I have scheduled or any errands that I need to run. I also have a list for tomorrow and a list for next week. Normally, every single day, there are things that do not get done that have to be brought over to the next day. And that is just like, I wish every single day I could just hit those to-dos and just have everything crossed off. But if I were to do that, I think I wouldn't ever sleep. Right now, I'm just gonna fill out my notion and we're gonna make this a productive day. Then I continued my morning routine with skincare and reading the biblical affirmations on my truth mirror. This summer I've decided I am not going to feel bad about myself and believe the enemy's lies. Proverbs 18.21 says that life and death is in the power of the tongue, so every morning I will speak these scriptures over myself so I can see myself the way that God sees me. I have a free download of biblical affirmations to put on your truth mirror. The link is in my description.
went for a prayer walk with my dog. There's a lot of things I've been anxious about lately, so I've just been really needing these prayer walks lately where I lift up everything that's making me anxious to the Lord and I feel his peace and feel so much better after going on these holy girl walks with God. The thing that I want to do for holy girl summer is pray and reflect on what God wants me to focus on for this season. Not considering what I want to do, but what is it that the Lord wants me to do? And what is it that the Lord wants me to put my attention to this summer? I've just been sitting here and reflecting like, Lord, what is it that you have for me this summer? What is it that you want me to focus on this summer? Not what he's leading my friends to do, not what he's leading my parents to do, not what he's leading some girl on social media to do, but like legit, what is he putting in front of me this summer that he wants me to tend to? I think in a lot of the videos about getting ready for summer, preparing for summer, we talk about our summer goals, but if you know my goals with God video, what we're trying to do, it's really we're asking the Lord what he wants to do and we're getting in on that. And there's so much more blessing and anointing when you get in on the things that God is doing and God wants to do through you versus the things that you're like, well, I want to do this, 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 this. I recommend just praying and asking the Lord, like getting alone with him like we are right now. Get five journals if you need to because that's what I'm doing. I always have like a million books next to me. It's kind of ridiculous. But just ask the Lord, be like, God, what is it that you want me to make a prayer? priority this summer? Is it growing closer to you? Is it reading my Bible more? Is it spending time in Christian community? Is it making Christian friendship a priority? Is it moving your body? Is it eating healthy and nourishing foods from God's green earth? Is it spending time with family? Is it starting to pursue a dream that's been on your heart for years and you never made it a priority? Well, maybe this summer is the time. Get alone with him. Reflect journal and pray and ask him these questions. And I actually have a prayer journal that helps me with a lot of these questions. I'll link it in the description, but there's just a lot of like journal prompts on things of the sort that I just asked. Like the first, very first journal prompt, we kind of go in, but it's picture yourself in 10 years. What are you doing and how can you change what you're doing now to get there? Yeet. But there's just different prompts in here that might help you also with your holy girl summer goals. But that's just what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to take some time to ask the Lord what it is that he wants me to do this summer. And then I'll let you guys know what he says. Mine are going to look different from yours, but we can just do this together. All right, so I will share with you guys just a few goals that I wrote down. So my first one is I really want to focus on my team and just being a great leader for my team. If y'all been following this channel for a while, I have finally onboarded and hired a team that is just incredible and I just want to steward it so well. Number two, I want to get more sleep. I really want to sleep more. That was one of my goals at the beginning of the year and friends, we have not made any progress. Like I just am not sleeping a lot not because i'm anxious but it's because i'm packing way too much in my day and then i'm going to bed like super late and then i'm waking up super early that being said it is not going to be 5 a.m wake up this summer i just don't know if i can do it it might be a 6 a.m i think 6 a.m is good but i don't think it's 5 a.m 5 a.m is giving like winter time fall getting back in the swing of things but summer we're not doing 5 a.m we're not psycho number three guys i really want to focus on strength training i know i've been trying to become like a runner girl Early, but I really think I need to get stronger in my muscle. So I'm going to really focus on lifting at the gym, which we're going to do together. I think I'm going to run and do Pilates still, but like it's not going to be my main working out. I really want this summer to be like a strength training summer. And then the last thing I really want to focus on y'all that I felt the Lord impress on my heart was to just make Christian community a priority. If I'm in between staying in because I'm tired and I just want to watch a movie, Movie. I don't actually even watch movies ever. If I want to stay in and just be a hermit and I don't want to see people and I get invited somewhere, I'm just going to go. Even if I'm tired and I don't want to go, I'm just going to make it a priority to go this summer at least. Like other seasons, maybe I will give myself some grace in staying in. But this summer, like she is not going to isolate. She is not going to be by herself. 
Okay, Holy Girl Summer is about being around other people who love Jesus and being in Christian community as much as possible, like as much as possible. Not that we should be afraid of like time alone. We should have time alone with the Lord, but like we cannot grow closer to him and we cannot become who he created us to be on our own. If we're gonna do that this summer, friends, we need to get around people who love Jesus. It needs to be a priority. All right, beautiful people. So it's around 3.45 and we are at the gym. Normally I go to the gym in the morning, but this morning I I slept in a little bit, so we're going right now. Guys, I've been thinking about what I said about 5 a.m., about no 5 a.m. this summer, and it might be a 5 a.m. summer. It really might be, because one of the only ways for me to get the habits done that I want to get done, like reading the Bible and working out, having time with the Lord in the morning, even getting creative work done, a lot of that I don't have time for during the day if I don't wake up super early. So we might be waking up early this summer, friends. Only time will tell. Y'all, I have not worked out in over two weeks. So you bet I am not going to do a crazy workout right now. My plan is to walk today. I'm going to walk for 30 minutes, and that will be such a win. I think I'm gonna do the like, it's something like, no, I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it, don't worry. Two hours later. It's on my Pinterest. Oh my goodness, where is this? What? I'm finding it. Guys, it's three miles per hour, 12, 3.30. I think that means I'm struggling to <laughs> <laughs> Maddie, what is this? Okay, I'm going to incline walking. I'm gonna incline at like 6% for three miles per hour, okay? For 30 minutes. 3, 3.30. I don't even know, guys. That was just a literal tangent. But I'm just gonna walk at an incline. But this summer, I want to get into strength training. So in the past, like spring and winter, I was doing a lot of running. I was doing a lot of Pilates. But for summer, I want to get those gains. I want to lift. Am I gonna get gains? I don't know, friends. But I really do want to lift. I want to get stronger. I don't want to feel weak. Also, my gym fit is from Abercrombie. They have amazing sets and a lot of them, they have some modest sets as well, which I appreciate. Just go look at their website. They have great workout sets. Okay guys, let's go to the gym. <laughs> Y'all, just so I make sure that I actually stay focused this summer, I wrote down my goals for this summer and what would happen if I focused on my main priorities this summer, like the results of what would happen. Of course, I don't know the future, but I know that you reap what you sow. So if I sow focusing on these things, what am I going to reap? And friends, I put this on my wall because I need to make sure that I actually stick to these focuses and I don't get sidetracked and I don't get distracted because summer can be distracted there's like a million things tugging for your attention and there's a lot of things that can seem like good things But they're really just a waste of time Can I get an amen just because the Lord is putting something on your friend's heart to do this summer or your parents heart to do this summer It doesn't have to be on your heart You gotta be asking the Lord Lord What is it that you want me to prioritize this summer because if everything is a priority nothing is a priority You gotta figure out your priorities before going into this season or you're gonna be dragged in every single direction And I don't want that for you not me with like a million sheets of paper in this corner. <laughs> 